Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and well this one went viral for a moment, but I have to say I saw even uh, what is his name? Legal Mindset did a video on this. Mm. So I I I want to clarify something here. Um Messing with someone's mail is a federal crime, not only for the U.S., in every single country. And I can guarantee you, if you end up messing around with a wrong person in third world country with their mail, oh man, uh, I have to say the least of your worries will be if they manage to identify your body, because you don't, you don't do that. Even if I'm just doing the extreme exaggeration of the outcome for messing around with this, it's a federal crime regardless. After all, you can get investigated and get thrown in jail. And I have to wonder if the US managed to do that. And this is because these boys act up crunchy role. Uh, he threw this like very easy. I have to say, dear friends, if you send me anything care of animation or Crunchyroll in the last five years, I apologize. I didn't get it. I learned yesterday that Crunchyroll opened in my private mail, threw away your letters and passed out and included items to their staff. Some companies manage to receive email for you if you want to let that in. And I have to say this. <coughs> Why Crunchyroll wants to compete with Niji Sanji? That's my biggest question here. And look, I'm not going to defend this guy because he, you know, he's talking with the same kind of fucking shitheads that ruined Big Minogna, that was stabbing him. And look, even Damon Miles. I remember this one being covered by Hirohei. He's a pedophile. And he was proven that was right, but didn't prosecute him. But of course, they falsely accused Big Minogna of that. It's just the same fucking bad actors. But still, I have to say, it's hilarious to me how he threw this casually. Because this is very damaging. I know he wants to let, uh, to sue because of that man. Nah, he's not going to do that, but he, uh, at the end of the day, sounds like a fucking hypocrite. Like, uh, then, oh, well, doesn't matter, uh, excuse me. Um, and of course, he, someone called him out on the pale of luck for supporting basic human rights. Just how things escalate is just difficult to read this, but... Oh, look, pedophilia isn't a human right. I send you a poly figure and a letter of appreciation for voicing the character. I wonder if you ever received it years ago after I was able to meet you at Anime Week in Atlanta. Uh, he said, I'm very sorry to say that I don't recall receiving it. If you can manage to dig up any USPS tracking emails or the like, please send them to the email in my profile. Hmm... But why? <laughs> Even I have to say, this person can naturally fuck up a Crunchyroll at once by sending an investigation like, hey, I sent this to this guy and he claims he have never received it. Can you track out what is going on? I mean, we have some declarations here. Oh, man. Oh. It's been years, so I'll have to see if my Gmail didn't delete it automatically. Ah, oh, well, that's a shame. How did they do that? All it takes is casual disregard for the humans in, you, in your employ. They mastered it that decades ago. <laughs> he, he's intentionally threw in... He threw... He threw Crunchyroll under the bus. And just like not making much of like, yeah, they did this. Oh man. Unbelievable true. I admit I relieve it that 
I didn't get anger at you and it was just control doing something illegal, which is so much worse. Well, what I said is illegal. I'm sorry for this gross invasion of your party. I saw what you were worried about that pill. The letters are likely gone forever and that's what I valued the most. Are you fucking serious? That's fucking mail fraud. Mail death, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Still, it's a federal crime. It's a felony. How do you find out? Can't speak out publicly at the moment and it will put someone else in danger of company reprisals. He wants to cover... <laughs> That's what I say, that he's... He's just throwing this casually. Ah oh, man, at this point he doesn't do anything at least. If someone else starts an investigation, I wonder, even... <laughs> they're tagging USPS. Oh man, he's going to, even he could, uh, now that I think about it, since they are tagging USPS, it could actually be damaging to this company because USPS could get even liable for a lawsuit because they participated in their service to send that, that mail all those years just to be destroyed. Um, I think it could get escalated, but at this point I'm not going to hold much on that. Since I don't know if they care at this point, but anyway, that's all I wanted to share here with you. Mail fra- uh, it's mail theft. Yeah, it's mail theft. Even I consider it mail fraud because, well, someone else is receiving it at the end of the day, not the main person that should have. Oh boy, well, that's all I wanted to share here with you for now. Thanks for watching and please take care.